first of the year 2019 I have few projects to get done clean my bench because I'm disassembling this guy but I'm going to install the throttle body on this video All right, so the gasket that came with my kit is this, and I'm sure that this is the gasket for the throttle body, but um, I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna use the normal one. As you see, um, you know, I mean, they, they are very similar. This is a piece of rubber. Um, I don't know which material is that. Um, there's no much information. One thing about this gasket street pro from Cometic is there's no information. So you don't know. The only information you have is like what what is in the box, but you don't know what is what. I mean, you gotta you gotta be a mechanic, of course, um, and not someone like me. <laughs> I got this Phil Pro. And I have the little gasket. I have my body, which is clean. And you, we need to put the gasket in there. You see that the, this gasket has the screw holes. So you can put these screws in here and then you see it holds the gasket in place. Okay. Uh, different than that one, that one was kind of weird. Um, so then we can just place this in the engine and torque to the specification so this is what we do now we get the body put the gasket get one screw put the screw through and put the gasket in there and then we are going to put the second screw in there which is right here and align with the gasket so with the gasket aligned with the two screws, it won't fall that easy. One thing you need to know is, that's how we call it in Portuguese, I don't know how it's in English, the butterfly, which is the, the open and close thingy, right? This side here goes towards the engine. So you put that there and twist it. If you see the body, let me show you before. I proceed. The body has two holes. Two holes in here. Those holes goes to the back of the engine. So against the engine, okay? So that I'm not going to torque with this. I'm just going to slowly Tighten and it's just helping me. Okay. And it looks good to me. Now um, we're going to torque it. I'm going to double check later, but I believe it is. Uh, 13 foot pound uh, because there are two screws I'm going to split that in half it's uh, usually it's always three steps right but I'm going to uh, seven and then I'm going to go for 13 Seven and thirteen. Sorry, I was uh, I was in the camera, but that that. So I just checked. Um, the throttle body is not specified for uh, the known turbo. So I believe this is actually over torqued. Uh, it must be the other, uh, the turbo version and 
the known turbo but not the uh, 428 they are um, 8.9 foot pound which makes me believe that this should be the same uh, that said let's leave it like that so now look out the back of the engine we have those two holes in here one of the holes has a little tab here and then when you move the throttle you see that is also moving in here right so this is the throttle position sensor what we're going to do is you get your sensor which is like that and you see the sensor has something there and when that thing moves the sensor the sensor is going to say oh I'm here or I'm there so the sensor knows exactly how much of that is open so you want to put the connector pointing out of the engine away from the engine okay and take the screws out of there don't do like me dropping all the time check for the seal here there is a rubber seal uh, you don't want to leak air from there I'm not going to mine is good um, I don't think I have this seal anyway because this is too uh, thin um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of a um, WD-40 I don't want to squirt my whole thing ah! I just want to get this in here so I, I put a little bit of WD-40 uh, slowly wiggle and go inside don't don't force it and don't drop it so you want to be sure that this is clean uh, this is mechanical it's not if it's dirty it doesn't I don't think it would matter anyway but anyway um, you don't want that to be dirty so and I got this uh, tool there's a uh, and in here there is a T20 it's a star pattern and I'm just going to I don't need to scry the uh, tie the crap out of it it's just you need to tie it equally because there is a rubber piece in there you want that rubber to be in there right um, and that's it that's going to do its job so you just want to be sure that this is in there you go so when it's tight call it a day tight 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 so let's see if it's not stuck so if I can move this here and it's still yep that's good so this here if you put your multimeter here it's going to tell you uh, probably the position that you are okay so check this out the uh, sensor that we just installed you can see here there's a number one right um, if you there are three connectors in there I'm gonna pick the two bottom ones and you see a number here uh. and go you see a number here which is zero zero point seven right when I move the throttle look at that it moves to 35 I guess the top yeah right and so the engine knows when you're moving now it's 14 now it's 17 now it's 18 20 and then all the way is 3.5 and then all the way back down right so all the way all the way back down this is how it works and to finish we're going to install the last sensor I'm not quite sure which sensor is that but it rotates in here um, and I guess it should just pick up air that comes in here anyways uh, we're going to put in there I'm going to do the same thing I'm gonna put a a dazzle of uh, olive oil just kidding just WD-40 and this is so hard to get just a tiny bit in here there you go this one I was able to do what I wanted so that 
I'm going to clean the rest of it because I don't want oil dripping on my engine. Uh, point the connector away from the engine so they will both be pointing to the same direction. And uh, so this this thing here, uh, there's a hole in there, which means there's air coming in, but the uh, throttle is closed. So this here, I think, is just counting accounting for the air getting in here that is not. Uh, it's not going to the engine. I wonder if it's uh, it lets the air go somewhere. Okay, so tie that, tie that, and we are good to go. Everything is tight and easy like that. We did it. We installed the throttle body. So, yeah, this video is pretty simple. Um, I don't think there's much uh, to installing a throttle body. You can see the car I'm dismantling, the whole engine. So it's being a challenge trying to figure it out, how to do stuff and learn as I go and, you know, and make those videos and hope that nothing explodes. So, yeah, if you like, hit the like button um, thank you all for subscribing I I get excited for each uh, subscription I get so it's like 130 then I get 131 it's like oh man it's so awesome so now I just got one more so I have 151 subscribers which is great for me uh, I want to reach a thousand subscribers so hit subscribe button if you like there is a little bell close to the subscription if you hit that bell, every time I publish a video, it's going to tell you, hey, Marcos published a video. Uh, otherwise, you're just going to get in the subscription number one or two or three or whatever number of videos I put in there. So, um, you know, it's up to you. I just learned that the other day. So I have like Adam LZ and uh, Motion Auto TV. And so it's those guys that inspired me uh, to start my channel a while ago. A while ago and you know so that's pretty cool thank you guys for the support check out my blog www.carmodsgarage.com and later